Hello everyone and welcome to Adventure Kyle's Go to Hell's Gate. That's right, we are taking you to the gates of hell. That sounds terrible. This is a sculpture garden, like, <laughs> disregard everything I just said. Uh, this is a sculpture garden in Stanford, and uh, it is a very, very interesting location to go to, especially if you guys want to go and appreciate art. So, um, this one, actually, the other Kyle was not present, which is why I'm the only one here. This is a really small adventure. Really, really small. I mean, we were here for half hour, 45 minutes, me and my brother. So, uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is all the sculptures kind of around Hell's Gate, because Hell's Gate's cool, but I don't want, I mean, it's going to be a big reveal, like, you know. Um, so anyway, this uh, first sculpture we take a look at here, um, this is all made by a guy named Auguste Rodin. Rodin? Rodin? I don't know how to pronounce his name. It all by that guy, and uh, he makes all these really cool sculptures, and they're very lifelike. And the first one here, you see these three guys who are putting their heads together, and I mean literally, like the guy is on the far right, you know, the center and the right guy. Their heads are fused together, and that's not a mistake. This is made out of marble at one point, and this is a bronze casting of that. They're all kind of twisted and grotesque and like morphed and weird looking, you know. A lot of different sculptures did take a took that. To take a look at and uh, uh, you guys will see you know um, as I'm talking a bunch of them kind of flash by real quick and it's because I don't want to give away too much if, in case you actually want to go there there's a lot to see but what I'm gonna focus on is actually the gate now this is not Auguste Rodin um, during a previous recording I said it was and then I realized immediately after that is not his name is Claude Lorraine Claude Rone Lorraine I'm not a French speaker so, uh, lots of cool sculptures, and some really weird and grotesque people and faces and stuff like that. Um, some censorship has been required, I think, because uh, people get touchy about touchy things. Augusto Rodin made all these sculptures, and uh, they're just absolutely fantastic uh, quality. I'm sure the actual original marble ones are even better. Here we go. Here is the gate. Um, this is the coolest gate, I think, the coolest door I think I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it is definitely like, it takes time for you to like, sit there and actually like catch everything that's going on. Um, by now you've probably noticed that there's some people who are falling off of the door, uh, which is pretty cool. But what you may not pick up on is just the sheer number of people that are around here and the, the detail on every single one of them. Um, I mean, there's like somebody who's crying up in the top left corner over there, just all by them lonesome themselves. And then there's like, you know, the copy of the three people on the statues over there um, that we saw before. That's the same three people, and they're all kind of like morphed in their weird poses and everything. They're putting their heads together. So, uh, but there's tons of people just like climbing and ugh, scratching their way towards the top. And then there's like the thinking man, like kind of hanging out, like, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking about stuff important stuff um so yeah there's there's a ton of stuff to look at and this door is just man it is cool um and again it's it's called the gates of hell um and it's supposed to be his in interpretation of what uh, he thinks that would look like so uh there's some you know descriptions and stuff like that some photos that you guys can take a look at um i'll flash them by real quick so if you want to pause it at a, a very uh convenient time you can read it. Um, it gives you the history of, you know, uh, how he came to make the gate and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, um, and just some thoughts in general. So, it's really cool. We do these things where we try to get ourselves in the same photo as many times as possible. Basically, we play around and we have fun with this. So, um, when I went through, I tried to go and copy every statue that I could get next to. And uh, so I'm just going around and contorting my body weirdly and doing weird things. And the very last photo I do there is it's fantastic because it looks like I'm a freaking ballerina um, I'm just so graceful just mm, graceful and uh, <laughs> I just it, it goes to show like how little I care about what I look like when I'm doing stuff um, it's just kinda eh, whatever <laughs> I mean we're pretty much alone in that park anyway so what's the matter um, so uh, I asked my brother to do the same thing and uh, my brother, um, little do you guys know, uh, happens to be one of the biggest trolls that ever lived. Um, and not like he's ugly and lives under a bridge and tries to eat goats and things like that, but it's my brother. What, what can I say? So uh, I asked him, go pose with the statues and it will be a cool photo. And so he does. And what does he do? He tries to poke every statue in the butt. So I'm going to pan across here and... Uh, 
Just give you guys some time to look at it. I'll zoom in appropriately. Well, I got him in there four times and he ran around and tried to poke everyone in the butt, but he couldn't do it for the last one. So it was a lot of fun. We had we had some fun. Me and my brother, we bonded and did bonding type things. <laughs> um, it's a spooky door. It's a it's a creepy door, especially because we got we stayed there until after dark. And if you were just like going through like a cave or something like that, and then like you know you're getting deeper and deeper underground, and then you just saw boom, that door, <laughs> yeah, I would be leaving immediately. Um, I don't know. The other Kyle might try to charge through it or something like that. Mm. Oh, sound. Sorry. So I, I tried uh, knocking on the door, and it didn't go well the first time I tried it. I tried knocking, and I missed. Totally missed it. Uh, I was looking so closely at the phone, making sure that I was you know, doing all the things right, and just, nope, missed the door entirely. Dominate. So, uh, uh, one last thing, and rather than talk about it, I'm just gonna get quiet for a second and play some very copyrighted music. I apologize immediately to anybody who's gonna take offense to copyrighted music and all that kind of stuff. I have legally bought it at some point, probably, so here we go. Okay, so uh, uh, that's that's really a shout out to all those Full Metal Alchemist fans out there. So anyway, uh, this has been the first adventure. I'm gonna cut it here, and again, it's this was a very small one. So if anybody is complaining about like the lack of excitement and craziness to it, it's because one, you know, some of these adventures when we're at like museum type things, settings, you know, we can't do anything too crazy because we'll damage the artwork or we'll be stupid and get kicked out or whatever. Um, but two, it's like part of it is just. I'm trying to show you guys places you can go to and see, and uh, to get you guys to kind of like take advantage of the time that you have um, and the, you know the opportunities you have, and if not to visit here, to look in your own communities and areas and figure out and find places similar because these are everywhere, and that's kind of the whole point of this is to get people to to go out and just like seek out their own adventures. You know, humble? Are you snoring? It's my, my dog. He's snoring. Anyway, that that's kind of the whole point is that I want to I want to bring these out for people to enjoy. Um, the photos and stuff should be online by the time that I put this out there. Um, they're on our Flickr account, and uh, uh, if you follow us on Instagram, I don't know if we posted any photos on that yet because I let the other Kyle handle that. But uh, uh, follow us on those things. Keep an eye on those because uh, there's a lot of photos that are up there for adventures you guys haven't seen yet. That's it. I mean. First adventure, boom, done. I mean, not chronologically, but, you know, first adventure I'm presenting to you guys. Uh, let us know what you think below, and uh, uh, until then, uh, let the adventures continue. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs>